Assalamualaikum. Have a good day. Welcome to Financial Management e Learning. Today, I'm going to discuss the second module of management information. So let's start. So, in my second module of management information the main topics is calculate unit cost so we have to take two or one or another one or two modules regarding calculation of unit cost so within this uh, module calculation of cost from information provided using direct costing absorption costing and reconcile the difference between the cost obtained so direct costing and absorption costing what is direct costing if you see here direct costing it's also called the variable costing marginal costing and the same so direct costing is a specialist form of cost analysis that only used variable cost. That means only use variable cost to make decision. It does not consider fi fixed cost. It does not consider fixed cost, which are assumed to be associated with the time periods in which they were incurred. So, and what is absorption costing? Under absorption costing, all manufacturing costs are considered inventory even or product cost. All costs are product cost. Direct material, direct labor, variable overhead and fixed overhead are included in the product cost so the cost are expended as the product producer sold so here we can see the basic difference between direct costing or variable costing and absorption costing look here variable costing or direct costing or marginal costing is the direct material cost direct over direct labor cost and variable manufacturing overhead is called the product cost if you see the left side absorption costing here direct material direct labor manufacturing overhead also fixed manufacturing overhead all are the product cost so basically the basic differences here product cost includes the fixed manufacturing overhead in the absorption costing. On the other hand, variable costing, they ignore the fixed manufacturing overhead, only variable item is the product cost. For example, material labor and variable manufacturing overhead. And another thing, period cost, if you see variable cost here, fixed manufacturing overhead and selling and administrative overhead are the period cost. On the other hand, absorption costing Period cost is the selling and administrative expenses. The difference between absorption and variable costing is the treatment of fixed manufacturing overhead. Only this item, this treatment is the difference only. So I think uh, it is very much clear to you so what is direct costing and what is absorption costing and which item is, that means uh, what uh, difference uh, within the system that means fixed manufacturer or it is the item that is the uh, variable costing is ignored between the product cost is the period cost but in the absorption costing it's called the product cost not the period cost is the same one okay so when we calculate unit cost we have to understand the all of the cost so direct cost a direct cost is the cost that can be traced in full 
to the customer. That means it can be traced. Direct costs are not necessarily bigger in size than indirect costs. And indirect cost or overhead is a cost that is incurred which cannot be traced directly. Okay? And the pool of the cost unit, indirect costs are not less important than the direct cost. So, direct cost is the traceable cost. It can be traced. Indirect cost is allocated cost. So it is the cost object. So here we, if we see this thing, cost accumulation, cost measurement, cost assignment. So cost accumulation, that means record of costs. Cost measurement based on classifying cost, cost assignment assigned to the cost object. For example, if you see here cost accumulation that record of cost, purchase of material is the direct material cost. Assemble the payroll, direct labor cost. Finished payroll, direct labor cost. Supervisor's payroll is not direct, is the indirect, is overhead. Depreciation, overhead. Utilities, overhead cost. Property tax, overhead. Landscape, overhead. So, if you see that here, one company is producing two product, product one and product two. So all costs are assigned to that here within the two product. So direct material is goes to that product one and product two also. Direct labor also goes to one, two, overhead also one, two. So here the cost accumulation, cost measurement, cost assignment we need to understand everything cost accumulated is cost record cost classification is cost measurement assigned to cost of the cost assignment so i think it's clear to you okay then come here charging units of inventory to cost of production or cost of sale i think you know there are three types of inventories one is material inventories Another is work in progress inventories. Another is fixed, co fixed finished goods inventories. So all inventories needs the working capital. So what is we are want to say that here? Look, valuing the cost inventory financial accounts. Inventories are valued at the lower of cost and net realizable value. It is the fundamental rules. Inventories are valued at the lower of cost and re realizable value. It's conservative mode. So, in inventory, valuation or pricing method of inventory, there are FIFO. That is first in, first out. Look, inventory valuation pricing method is inventory valuation. FIFO, first in, first out. LIFO, last in, first out. Cumulative weighted average pricing, periodic weighted average pricing. Okay. Here one thing, LIFO is banded by the prohibited by the International Accounting Institute to the ties to inventories. So FIFO, weighted average, and specific items, inventories we are using. So look here, cost of goods available for sale, it allocates cost of goods sold, ending inventory in the balance sheet, Income statement, sell, less cost of goods sold, then we'll get gross profit. And same way, inventory is within the balance sheet. Here, one thing, the, keeping the method of inventory, your profit can be changed. 
That means if you use LIFO, though it's prohibited, cost of goods sold would be high, tax then low, cost of goods sold high, then profit low, then tax low, gross profit low, net income low, working capital low, cash flow high. But if you use FIFO, cost of goods sold low, and gross profit high, net income would be high, working capital high, cash flow low, but tax have to be high. And weighted averages, all items made in size. So one company can change their policy in time to time, either a standard requires or not. So if any company use FIFO, FIFO system, it should be used FIFO system. Inventory valuation and profitability. That means there is a few effects inventory valuation. Look, effects on erosion in stock valuation, cost of goods sold, profit. If closing a stock is under state, cost of goods sold over a state, and gross profit and net profit under state. Clear? And closing a stock is over a state. Then cost of goods sold understood and gross profit and net profit overstood. If opening a stock is understood, then cost of goods sold understood and gross profit and net profit overstood. If opening a stock is overstood, then cost of goods sold overstood and gross profit and net profit understood. So I think this thing you know clearly. Just look the item here and try to solve, um, try to memorize it, uh, that means try to understand it, okay? So one problem is here, the following data are available, it should be 2019, okay? From the accounting record of effect, unit produce 10,000, units in ending inventory 2,000, selling price per unit $20, manufacturing cost, manufacturing cost, Direct material two, direct labor four, variable overhead one, fixed overhead twenty thousand dollar, selling administrative. Okay, selling administrative variable one per unit, fixed total ten thousand. So from this figure, as a professional, you have to calculate the unit cost using absorption costing. And unit cost using variable costing. Determine cost of goods sold under absorption costing and variable costing. Ending inventories under absorption costing and variable costing. Innate income under absorption and variable costing. So let's just start. Unit cost can be calculated using absorption costing. So here is the absorption costing look. Total fixed overhead cost 20,000. Unit produced 10. 1000 fixed overhead cost per unit $2. Okay, so unit cost under absorption costing direct material cost to labor for overhead one and fixed overhead, which is calculated for here too. So total unit cost as per absorption costing and dollar nine. If you see in variable costing low. Direct material cost two, direct labor cost four, and variable overhead one. Here, look, total unit cost only seven, but in the absorption costing nine. The difference is fixed overhead per unit two. So cost of goods sold, absorption costing versus variable costing, look, the calculate the cost of goods sold, we must first calculate the sale of unit, sale in unit. The sale of unit is multiplied by the unit cost, calculate the cost of goods sold. So unit cost, beginning inventory plus units produce minus ending inventory, so 8,000. Cost of goods sold using absorption costing, cost of goods sold using absorption costing, 
cost of goods sold using absorption costing taka 9 8000 unit equal to 72000 also cost of goods sold under variable costing taka 7 multiplied by 8000 units so 56000 so look there is a huge difference so ending inventory absorption costing versus variable costing there are 2000 unit in inventories the number of units multiplied by the unit cost to calculate by the dollar in ending inventory so ending inventory using absorption costing 9 taka 2000 18000 and variable costing 7 taka multiplied by 2000 units equals 14000 so income statement absorption costing versus variable costing this section with how the prepared income statement under the both appropriate explanation difference between the using income statement the sales revenue and selling administrative expenses is calculated sell revenue 20 80000 that means 160000 selling administrative variance it variable 8000 1 dollar 8000 unit total selling administrative expenses 18000 okay so under the absorption costing income statement would be sale revenue 160000 cost of goods of 72000 gross margin 88000 and selling admin 18000 income 70000 if we see variable costing then we will see sales revenue 160000 cost of goods sold 56000 and variable selling admin 8000 contribution margin 96000 less fixed expense fixed overhead 20000 selling uh, fixed selling and administrative 10000 total net income 66000 so here is huge difference net income under absorption costing 70000 and net income under variable costing 66000 so this this net income under variable costing less than the income absorption costing that means 4000 less so i think you understand why this difference difference of because here fixed overhead unit not that one this one dollar two okay dollar two dollar two is the difference only so today we are going to conclude the uh, module and i'll take another module uh, next week module three so here we learn absorption and variable costing and also we know variable costing also variable costing also direct costing marginal costing and we calculate a unit that's the traceable cost and cost accumulation cost measurement cost assignment and carrying unit uh, charging units of inventory FIFO LIFO and where's the effect and effect of video restock valuation cost of goods sold and one problem we solve that five item we calculate here so do so today I'm finishing it so take care thank you We'll see you again.